So this is all the wine. I did the red wine. Hi everyone. So today I'm taking myself on a little date, a solo date. Right now I'm here at Hudson River Park. I'm gonna do wine tasting. It's actually, um, I found this on TikTok actually, but I'm really excited. I'll give you guys more details like once I get started, but this video is sponsored by Bush. As you guys know, they are a sexual wellness brand that's all about your self-love journey. What better way to show yourself some love than taking yourself on a whole date, you know? Spend some time with yourself, pamper yourself, treat yourself to something that you wouldn't normally do every once in a while. So that's all for now but i hope you guys enjoy today's video thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in um all the information about bush will be linked down below um you guys can also purchase any of their products using my code 20 nia g okay so i kind of got it wrong i thought that I have the days wrong, but either way, this is the only day that I was free this week, um, and I've been wanting to come here for ages, so instead of having like an actual wine tour where someone tells me like every single thing, um, I'm going to get a flight, and it's going to have like the different names of it, and I'll be able to like tell you guys about it still, but I feel like back in my element, like when I leave, before I moved to New York, before I moved to New York full time, I used to go everywhere by myself. The movies, lunch dates, nails, everything. But I think when I first moved here, like, it was during COVID, and I didn't really have any friends. So I was like, not trying to go anywhere. Like, I didn't know anything. But now I have like 100% confidence in going places by myself again. Like, I love being by myself. So I don't know. I was just hesitant because, like, I hadn't done it in a while. So I'm finally back doing that but my outfit is so cute i'll show you guys better pictures i have my gucci bag my white sweater these fashion over jeans and my chloe betty dupes it's so nice outside so i'm wearing the sweater like as a shirt so i'm not like too hot although i'm sitting right in the sun hopefully i get some good pictures but it's such like a nice view people are here like on lunch dates i'm also not the only person that's here by myself so that's nice and they got me some water already. I already put in my order for my food. So I'll just be here chilling and admiring the view. Yeah. So this is all the wine. I did the red wine. Um, this one is Greenwich. I don't really know how to say that, but it shows you the origin of where all of them are from. This is Syrah, Merlot, which everyone should know if you drink wine at all, and Petite Syrah, California. So these are, three of them are from California, one's only from Washington. It's pretty cool. They come in this cute little tray, like, look at this. It's adorable. So if I came on between Thursday and Sunday, 12 through 4, someone would be explaining the wines to me and I wouldn't be like guessing what the taste is. But um, yeah, I came on the wrong day basically. So I'm going to start with the Greenwich. If I'm saying these wrong, don't roast me. I'm so sorry. I don't know. This one is from Outer Springs Vineyard. It's not bad. It's pretty good. Kind of, it's dry. Okay. And Syra, I don't know why, but I feel like I'm gonna like it only because the name is really pretty. It's like tart, so I do like it. I could easily Google these, actually, but I'm not going to. And then Marlowe. It tastes like grape juice. I'm never really like crazy about it, but it does taste good. Oh, this is Petite Syrah.
Okay, this is my favorite. This and Syrah, so they're both my favorite. Maybe they're like on opposite spectrums, but they're kind of the same. I'm not gonna look it up because I like not knowing stuff sometimes. But yeah, I can also purchase a bottle if I want to. They're all right here. I actually really do prefer white wine. Um, I like Moscato. And they had the white wine option. And they also had like just classic. But I went with red. Just because I was feeling red today. Do you ever just feel a color? I was kind of nervous about being here and like vlogging. Because people would be looking at me. But first of all, this is New York. People do... And people do weird stuff like that I don't approve of all the time. And I don't say anything, so, you know, just living my life, you know? Back to the Greenwich. This is a really cute date idea, like if you wanted to come so I'm here with someone else, but I'm here with you guys, I'm here with you all, so. I love wine tasting. My first time going wine tasting was in Greece and Samos but I was only 18 and they only let me sip it like you can legally drink in Greece but since I was like on a study abroad like they was tripping a little bit but I bought my mom a bottle she still has it to this day so hopefully one day I can really actually drink it if she ever stops saving it <laughs> been holding on to it for dear life Oh gosh, this is so beautiful. And I've taken some like cute little selfies here. And I ordered a plate of food. I ordered um, mushrooms, like an appetizer. I'm not really particularly hungry, so I'm not like pressy, but I'm excited because I love mushrooms. I also kind of wanted to have the salmon capers, but I opted against it. So we'll see. So my mushrooms came out. They're a little bit different than I thought, but. I don't know why I was expecting, since it's wild mushrooms, I was expecting like the whole mushrooms, but they look like they taste delicious, and let me try one. Mm. They do taste good. I feel like they complement the wine taste I already have like really well. <laughs> Look at how big this mushroom is. This is what I meant. This is what I thought they were all gonna look like. It's so funny. They taste really good though. So this is the end. I finished the Marlo and the Petite Syrah. I'm so sorry. Like I feel like I keep saying it wrong. So um, yeah. And then I halfway finished this like a little bit. But I ended up oh, my bill flew away. I'm gonna have to re-sign it. But um yeah. Alright, so I'm getting ready to pay and leave. I have no idea why I didn't wear sunglasses. But um I think my favorite, I really enjoyed the Marlowe, although I, I'm not really a huge Marlowe fan. But I really think that the Syrah and the Petite Syrah Syrah are my favorite. Like I haven't drank like finished it, but it's good. It's nice to like sip kind of slowly. I'm just like basking in the fresh air. I feel like this is my first time getting fresh air in so long. Like I haven't really been out much since the summertime. Um, the mushrooms were good, but I kind of ordered them because I felt like, you know, I shouldn't be drinking and not eating something at least, but I'm honestly full. I don't really need food, so it's just kind of sitting there right now, <laughs> like, and I'm not going to take it home with me, but it was good, but definitely not needed because I wasn't really hungry 
I just got it just to get it basically so and my skin is literally glowing I have on the most I just have on concealer and highlighter and gloss like y'all know me not highlighter blush but yeah y'all know my my minimal makeup I look good I'm feeling like the last few weeks like I've been so like in my element like feeling myself I'm excited for my future I've been like really taking the time to just show myself some love like I've been overstimulated really like too many people around me it's crazy like this time by myself like this is me like solitude I really feel like I'm meant to be a hermit and so I've just been like living that hermit truth basically it's nice and I'm definitely gonna be doing more solo I mean, I'm by myself every day, basically. Unless I choose not to be. I hang out with the same person every time I go out. But I think definitely, like, taking a separate time. Like, it's one thing to be by yourself every day. That can cause loneliness. But being by yourself doesn't mean that you're, like, alone. Being by yourself doesn't mean you're lonely. You know what I mean? So, like, going out and doing something by yourself like that makes the time that you spend by yourself more special it's good to be intentional with the time that you spend with people and yourself like that's what really keeps me grounded like i wouldn't i've always been someone that do with that time by yourself is crucial because you should be sitting there standing there blank wall and what are you doing you're not being productive you're not being nice to yourself like what are you thinking about yourself in that time like it's crazy i think i'll do more like i I think I'll do more telling people about what I do to make myself feel good because I'm not one that sits in unhappiness and does unhappiness and I don't like I don't do being around people I can share a lot like I'm actually like I know a couple things you know what I mean so I think let me know what you guys think if I should show you guys more of what I do in New York I just got the check back so I'm gonna pay I'm honestly enjoying the view. A helicopter just came by. They do like helicopter tours from time to time. I'm not really sure where they leave from. But I'm enjoying it over here. So let me know if you guys want to see a little bit more of me by myself in the city. That's the main reason like I don't vlog like when I'm in the house. Because I'm just by myself. But I feel like people might want to see that. I don't know. I like watching people vlog. That nasty New York water. Ew. It's so beautiful out though. Mild trash. It's so nice out. I wish I'm like enjoying the weather. I wish I could stay like a little bit longer, but daylight savings is 
approaches. Like it's dark, like it's starting to get dark earlier and I don't want to be out here while it's dark. So I'm about to head home. I might stop at H&M. It seems like the H&M over here is like kind of far, so I don't know if I really want to go. But it's so nice out, so beautiful. I haven't been here in, seems like ages. I think maybe 2019. Yeah, 2019 is the last time that I was here. Um, just so long, I'm just basking. No, 2018. No, 2019 is the last time I was here. 2018 is the last time I was here by myself. These are the iconic pillars that everyone is always looking at. I don't think I'm gonna get any pictures of myself, honestly, but that's okay. I'm not pressed. I look good. This one man is tanning. I wish I was him right now. It'll be me soon though.